So I think everybody's heard about trials being drama, trials being about performance. And in a trial, it is not uncommon that to create drama or for a place on which to have a foundation to ask questions, we write up on a board, we write on butcher paper or a whiteboard. And so if I was in a trial and I was cross-examining someone and I wanted to to solidify what they were saying and perhaps use it for later in the trial. And somebody said something important, I'd go up on the board and I would write it. And now I have a place to go to. Subsequent witnesses say something and I'm like, well, wait, let's talk. We spoke to so-and-so and he said the following. And because it's written down, jurors tend to give it a lot more credibility. Everybody gives it a lot more credibility. Doing this same thing in a deposition results in many times the same reaction by the defendant, by the expert you're deposing, by the defense lawyer, and really kind of sets the tone. It gets rid of a lot of objections, and I want to talk about that. So in a deposition, I bring in a whiteboard. Even if it's remote, I'll have a whiteboard that's on the camera with me. And I use it, and I can use it, to write down important things. Many times when a witness is being difficult and they won't answer questions. I remember I, when I first started it, I had a, a deponent who was really being difficult. Almost wouldn't answer almost their name. What's your name? I don't remember. I would write it up on the board. I don't remember. Well, what documents have you reviewed? I don't remember. I mean, almost that ridiculous. And I realize as I'm writing on the board all the things that they say they don't know, then I got to a question. And instead of saying, I don't know, they looked at my board. They didn't want me to write anything else on that board. And I realized that in a deposition, the power of the pen and writing something down and being able to see it viscerally is a very, very powerful thing. So bring a whiteboard into your depositions. The law does not say you have to sit. You can stand like I am, asking questions, writing up on the board. But here is the game changer. The case of Emerson Electric Company states that in a deposition, you can have a deponent draw a schematic, act out, right? that they can do different things. And if you are in an in-person deposition, which for very important depots I now do again, not only do I write it on the board, I say and can under Emerson Electric, give the marker to the deponent and have them get up and write on the board. Many times I'm standing next to them. What does that do? That gives me control. Right? It lets the other side know that I know what the law is. Right? If somebody says they can't draw a schematic at all of the intersection or where their car is or whatever, I'm allowed to say, well, give us a try. Right? If they do it really, really poorly and it's obviously not well done, that's great cross-examination. Why are you such a crappy drawer here under oath when if you were doing this with your child at home, it would be crystal clear? because maybe you don't want to tell us everything that's going on. So Emerson Electric Company also, when you put stuff up on the board, especially if the defendant does, when they go sit back down and you have a longer depot, it gets rid of those objections, misstates the testimony. Well, what do you mean it misstates the testimony? I got it right here on the board. When you have... Um, Complicated cases, meetings, let's say, with uh, 10 people, Billy, Bob, Jeff, hey, all these things. I write all those names up on the board and I use it as a reminder of for me to say, well, what did Billy say? What did Jeff say? It helps me organize my thoughts on the fly as I'm learning information. I can't tell you how many times that when I see it up on a whiteboard as I'm asking questions, I see holes either in my questioning or holes in the testimony of the defendant. But lastly, it gives me drama, right? In the age where, you know, so many of us are 
stuck to our chairs, stuck to our desks, afraid to step outside to our comfort zone, afraid to get up. Here I am, up, drama. What do you mean that's what, it's right here on the board. That's more interesting, that's more engaging. That allows people to be controlled. That allows me to get them to answer when I want them to answer, yeah, I'm at fault. I may lead up with a lot of these. And then I'm like, and see, and you're right, right? You're at fault. And they feel like, okay, I must answer these questions, right? And then they do. All of that are the same principles that we do at a trial. When we have drama and we have a foundation and we have something written that gives more solemnity, more credibility to what's written. You can do it in a depot. Not only can you do it, but you can make the deponent do it using the law of California in Emerson Electric Company. And we'll put the links in the video description below.